I'm Charlie Bright of Gold Derby, and today I'm speaking with Alberto Mielgo, the director of the short film The Windshield Wiper, which has just been shortlisted for the Best Animated Short Film Oscar. Um, the, Alberto, the first question I want to ask is, you know, the look of the film is absolutely incredible. And I was wondering, what were the means you used to animate this piece? Um, well, uh, you mean in terms of software or you mean like the intention? Uh, the intention. Okay, okay. Well, I am, you know, I love technology, but also I am a very traditional filmmaker. I love old films. I love films that they don't actually use crazy camera moves. The problem that sometimes in 3D, because we have such a freedom of camera moves, you know, sometimes people tend to move the camera so much. And, and I like shots that they are just still where you just see the character. Um, I also love uh, traditional animation like Disney, like back in the time, Bambi, Snow White, 101 Dalmatians. Um, but I happen to love technology as well. So what I do is I kind of like use traditional thinking uh, mixed with all the amazing new uh, hardware and software that I can find that they are useful for what I want to do. So mixing with a lot of painting because I'm a painter uh, and with technology, maybe you end up having this sort of like a fresh look, I would say, because I, I don't follow the trends in, in the, let's say mainstream pipeline animation that you can see in the in the big studios, which is usually, you know, a very successful pipeline, but because this is independent and I usually like to rethink my way of working, uh, their final result ends up um, sort of like fresh, I would say, until, <laughs> until it's not fresh anymore, you know, <laughs> and then I have to reinvent myself, I suppose. So um, uh, I'm, I'm sure you get this question a lot uh, with this film, but where did the idea for this short originate from? Um, okay. It's actually a question that I don't think I ever answer well. <laughs> but uh, um, originally uh, what I wanted to do, first of all, is, you know, I was an art director in the industry, um, but I wanted to direct. So I wanted to show basically what I was able to do. And definitely I didn't wanna do anything that is sort of like, uh, I would say family friendly or pet friendly, you know, like I wanted to do something that is um, another type of animation. Um, so I love um, relationships um, is, is a theme that, for some reason, I kind of like end up using it in many of my projects, either comic books or films, um, even The Witness, which is kind of like a thriller, um, is sort of like a strange toxic relationship. So somehow it's a theme that I really like. Um, and I feel that nowadays love is um, evolving together with um, with society and now society drastically changed over the last decades. Um, the, the concept of family and, and, the, and the advantages of creating a family do not longer exist uh, the same way as, for example, when my parents, they were much younger. Um, the convenience of creating a strong family. So, you know, this concept of commitment is very different now. And this film basically talks about that, about where is love nowadays in terms of society. It's basically, maybe it's like, what is social love rather than what is love now, nowadays, I, I would say. So um, I don't know if you uh, mentioned this, but I read that you uh, served in several different positions for this short, include not just as the writer and director, but also editor, composer, and sound designer. And yeah. And uh, what I was curious about is of all the responsibilities that you had in making this short, which one was the most challenging for you? Mm, that's a good question. Um, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. The thing is that I, I like them all. That's why I, I, I do them. Um, and that's sort of like a, kind of like a problem that I am into now because I'm kind of like gravitating into longer format and I need to learn how to, you know, multiply myself if, if possible. Um, I would say that, I don't know, man. I, I mean, this, the stuff that I do, I do it because, because I enjoy it and because I'm good at it. Uh, so uh, I would say that perhaps the stuff that is more challenging is that one that maybe one day you don't wanna, you are like, oh my God, I need to do this. The, the most challenging thing on the film, more than a specific role, it was to keep the film alive, I would say, because the film, you know, it's an independent film that I was basically doing between projects. So anytime that uh, myself or, or my friend, Leo Sanchez, that he uh, co-produced and co-financed the project with me, we might have another gig that pay the bills, we need to stop it. And to keep the film alive, um, that, was, that was pretty tough uh, because it took us sort of like seven years on and off, which is a lot. That is a lot. Um, uh, I yeah. also... I also read that um, uh, when it comes to the look of the film, you took inspiration from David Lynch uh, for the look <laughs> of the short. And I was wondering if you would be able, to, if you could uh, elaborate on those elements in the film. No, I can't. And I cannot be responsible of that, of that because that's something that I don't remember saying, even though David Lynch is one of my favorites. In terms of look, I don't think he was an and um, reference for this film. Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe when I say that uh, it was misinterpreted or maybe I pronounced it bad, maybe I meant um, David Fincher, maybe David Lean, I don't know, something that is like very epic in terms of the look. I must say though that David Lynch is for sure one of my favorite uh, directors and um, his style of filming for me is like, it makes me so nervous. I think that that's good. Well, he also so comes, I cannot elaborate. <laughs> okay, well, I understand. But he also, he, uh, like you, he also comes from the background of also being an artist as well. Yes, I know. I mean, he's like a multidisciplinary everything, and he's like a crazy brain, and and such a sweet person as well. Like I see his his forecast every week, you know, and every, and and it's something like, wow, what a what an idea, you know. <laughs> It's cool. I love him. Uh, so uh, I was uh, curious as to, um, you know, uh, you, you, as you said, you were doing this in between projects and you've worked on some very big projects, uh, probably uh, most of which, uh, probably uh, biggest of which was uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, which it felt like it hit at, with like the force of a freight train. Um, yeah. And I was wondering what the experience was like of working on that film. Oh, it was amazing. I mean, at, at the time, it was before, you know, I actually I was starting on the windshield wiper for maybe like a year. And then I started working on, on Spider-Verse after that. Um, and when I arrived, I was the only one in the studio. We didn't even have a director assigned at the time. And they basically called me to explore what Spider-Man could be, could look like in animation. Um, we had the very first draft of the whole script and um, I basically was just having fun like let's explore comic books let's explore the texture of comic books you know like the balloons um, all the all the language of comic books let's put it on on an animation film and that's what I was doing for maybe the first six months and then I got my team there and then I was training a bunch of uh people um a lot of them they were like incredible painters as well but you know in a way we wanted to all of us unify the style and um i was there for you know i was going to new york several times i was getting into buildings uh trying to feel what vertigo means you know because if you get um bite by a, by a, by a spider doesn't mean that you're gonna start climbing up buildings you know you might have fucking vertigo uh, and when I went to New York that was like the experience that was 
crazy. This, the places that this location scout took me, they were like insane and not safe. Like maybe just a chain and I was just taking photos. But the material that I got there was incredible. And Sony was like super, super generous with my crazy ideas. You know, like I, like I, I even wanted to go in one of these window sort of like cleaning you know, the, the kind of like a structure to clean windows. Um, and they looked into that, but I, w- I was not able to do it because, uh, you know, there's a bunch of things that you need to sign before do that. But I wanted to experience what is it to be a Spider-Man. I want to show this to the audience. So it was really cool, really cool experience. Um, and, I, and I learned a lot. So it was very, very nice. Uh, so as uh, I mentioned earlier, um, uh, your film, The Windshield Wiper, uh, was shortlisted for the Best Animated Short Film Oscar. Uh, what was it like finding out that you had made the shortlist for this year's Oscars? Um, well, first of all, the first step uh, is really challenging and very difficult because it's a notion of films. There is like, I don't know if there are like, over 100 or, or 80 something. I don't know what's the real number. And I was thinking that, wow, to go past beyond this must be super difficult because I have a, a group of, of people that they follow me. And of course, family and friends, they, they know that I did a film and, um, and the fun people that they follow me, they know that I did a film, but there's like a huge amount of other people that they never heard of you you know and they don't even know that you have a film so the the exposure is the you know is like wow how can i actually make uh people to watch this film so i was really shocked um and one of the things that i am super super proud and very happy is the the films uh themselves all of them they seem you know except for few exceptions they seem like not targeting, you know, like super commercial, not targeting um, uh, the younger audience. It feels like most of it is adult. Some of them, they are really strong. Um, like the, the, some scenes are like even bizarre. And I think that, wow, that's cool that the Academy is going for this. That seems that they are taking animation super serious. I like that a lot. So, um, uh to draw a parallel to that, um, you have other experiences at, um, uh, with entertainment awards, uh, including uh, you've won uh, three Emmys uh, for uh, two of them for Love, Death and Robots uh, in the same year. One was a juried award. The other was short form animated program. Uh, what was yeah. it like uh, winning that, um, uh, winning that in 2019? Well, a total dream, of course. I mean, it's, 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 it has a lot of significance. Uh, for me, the work that I do is always pro-animation. Like, I, I do it for the sake of respecting the art as much as possible. And that the Emmy um, Awards, they award a film like The Witness, for me, was extremely significant because, A, was not kind of like commercial in a way, was not family friendly, pet friendly, or all these kind of things that I say over and over. Um, and it's a film, you know, it's, re- it's, it's, it's cinema. So I was thinking, oh, wow. So 10 years ago, this was an impossible, like going out there and asking to a network to do a film where you're gonna see violence, nudity, um, and sort of like a, any sort of like adult content. It was absolutely an impossible. So if, same as the Oscars, as I was saying before, when Emmy kind of select a film like that and award it so much, and the next year they award it again, Love, Death and Robots by a, by a huge number of, of, of Emmy statues as well. I'm like, wow, this is cool. So it's a good moment for animation. So any award is cool for this art of animation. <laughs> Well, uh, Alberto, thank you so much for joining us. We wish you all the best during this award season. And to all of our viewers, please like this video, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to go to goldderby.com and use the Gold Derby app to make your predictions and see if you can outsmart the top prognosticators in Hollywood. Thanks so much again, Alberto. Thank you, man. Thank you.